every once in a while, I come across an idea that is just so genius, I can't wait to share it with you guys. And that is the case with these instant soup cups that I found online. I absolutely love this concept. Basically, you just put all of your soup ingredients into a jar, and then when you're ready to eat your lunch, you just pour some hot water over them, put on the lid, let them sit for five minutes, and then lunch is served. And you all know how I feel about things in mason jars. And if you don't, you should check out this video. Or this video. This video. This video. Or basically any video on the channel. I get really excited when I can put things in mason jars. So today I'm going to show you some miso noodle soup, some chicken and rice soup, some vegetable minestrone, some coconut curry soup, and finally, a sausage, bean, and kale soup that is really hearty and delicious. Now let's jump right in with some miso noodle soup. Not surprisingly, the base for this soup is miso paste, which can be found at most large grocery stores. But if you can't find it, you could also sub in some chicken base. That would be totally fine. So I'm starting with some miso paste in the bottom of my jar, and to that I'm going to add a little splash of tamari. Tamari is basically gluten-free soy sauce. And the final ingredient in my base is going to be some freshly grated ginger. I love freshly grated ginger. Can never get too much. For our noodles today, we are actually going to be using kelp noodles. If you're not familiar with these, they're actually basically made with seaweed, kelp. And they are crunchy, but also soft, so they really stand up well in a soup like this. So I'm adding some kelp noodles to my jar, and then it's time to add my veggies. Now it's really important to understand that the hot water isn't going to cook anything, it's only going to heat it up. So you wanna make sure that your veggies are chopped really finely before putting them into your jar. That's why I've got this beautiful finely grated carrot that I'm going to be adding, I've got some chopped baby spinach, and some really finely chopped shiitake mushrooms. These are a perfect complement in a miso soup really great flavor combinations. I'm going to finish my jar off with a little bit of fresh green onion, and that's it, it's as simple as that. Simple is key, team, simple is key. This soup cup can be stored in the fridge until it's time to eat. One word of caution, you'll wanna remove your soup cup from the refrigerator about 10 minutes before adding your hot water. This will prevent your glass from breaking when the cold glass meets the hot water, which is generally bad news. Next up, I've got some chicken and rice soup. The perfect way to use leftover chicken and leftover rice. All I'm going to do is start by adding some chicken base to my jar. It's basically like a paste version of chicken bouillon. If you can't find it, no problem, you can also use the powdered stuff. So I'm just going to add one or two teaspoons of my chicken base to each jar, and then I'm going to top that with some cooked rice. Next, it's time to add my chicken. I am using shredded cooked chicken in this recipe. It's really important if you're putting seafood or meat in any of these soup cups that you make sure they are cooked beforehand because the hot water we are adding is not going to do the trick and that is a recipe for food poisoning. Now that we have that out of the way, we're going to add our shredded cooked chicken to our jar. And then we're going to top it with some frozen veggies. In this case, I've got some peas and carrots. Go ahead, use whatever frozen veggies make you happy. And then we are just going to finish it off with a little more flavor. So I've got some chopped parsley here, and I have got some lovely fresh thyme. This soup is really as simple as that. And come on, there's no comfort food quite like chicken soup. Am I right? Keep in mind that adding either chicken or seafood to any of these soup cups does reduce the shelf life of them. So you're only going to want to store these for two or three days max in the fridge. Next up, I'm going to show you a vegetable minestrone soup cup that actually uses one of my very favorite ingredients, zoodles. Noodles made from zucchini. So the base for this soup is made with a few tablespoons of tomato sauce, a little bit of vegetable base, some dried oregano, and some salt and pepper. To that, I'm going to layer in some canned beans that I've just rinsed and drained, some frozen mixed veggies, and some zoodles. Basically, these are just some zucchini strands that have been julienned. You could do this with a spiralizer or even with just a vegetable peeler and cut yourself some ribbons. 
I'm going to finish this off with a little bit of fresh parsley, and what you end up with is a really hearty but completely vegetarian soup cup that is perfect for lunch. Our next soup cup is actually inspired by my coconut curry slow cooker soup that I shared in this video. The base for this soup is just slightly more involved because we're mixing a lot of ingredients together, so I like to whisk it all up beforehand. I'm starting with some red curry paste, and to that I'm going to add some veggie base, some peanut butter, a splash of coconut milk, some fish sauce, and some freshly grated ginger. If you hate fish sauce, go ahead and leave it out. I know some people feel very strongly about it. We're going to whisk all of this together and then pour it into the bottom of our mason jar. Now in this soup, I'm actually going to be using a combination of firm tofu and shrimp. You can use either or for your protein. I'm going to top this off with some instant rice vermicelli and then finish it off with some finely sliced green onion, some freshly chopped cilantro, and I'm going to package this soup up with a little wedge of lime so once your soup is ready, you can just squeeze a little bit of lime juice over it. This soup is one of my absolute favorites because it's got a little sweetness, a little sour, a little saltiness, and a ton of richness from that coconut milk. Finally, I'm going to show you a sausage white bean and kale soup that really eats like a meal. Once again, I'm starting with some chicken base in the bottom of my mason jar. And to that, we are going to add some kielbasa. Now, you could use any kind of sausage you wanted in this recipe, but you want to make sure it's cooked. First of all, that's really important. To that, I'm going to add some beans. We all know beans, beans, the magical fruit. The more you eat, the more heart healthy you are. I'm going to top that off with some finely chopped kale. I like to finish this off with a pinch of red chili flakes. And what you end up with is a really hearty soup that will keep you full till dinner. I hope you find this idea as inspiring as I did, and if you want to read some of the original links, I've left them in the description box below because they're really, really fun and come from some of my favorite food sites. I hope you'll give these tasty recipes a try, and if you do, be sure to tweet or Instagram me a photo because you know I love seeing what you're coming up with in your very own kitchens. And finally, don't forget to subscribe because there is lots more deliciousness in a jar where this came from. <laughs>